때까지 호주 와인 하면 저렴한 와인의 대명사로만 알려졌죠? 우리가 모르는 와인의 시세. 웹다큐 와인을 위해서 탐험해 보겠습니다. 그런 up in this region and saw the opportunity in in one 1994. Okay. This kind of wine making journey started. I think um, I uh, I was at a wine dinner with another wine maker. Was very entertaining and charismatic and was maybe one of the inspirations for becoming a wine maker. It takes wine into a a very special place that it's something that just can't be reproduced. Farming, driving a tractor, one winner. Another minute walking, tasting grapes, parts to the puzzle of, of making wine, and it's a very enjoyable profession. Okay. So today we are picking Mavedra, which is the first pick of the season, and uh, this is going to go in to make a rosé. It's quite a, it's sort of a, it's, it's a heavy grape, but it's also got a lot of body, so it's... Yeah. Yeah. So, this is the Mubedro's red wine fungo. If you just use it, it's a shiraz, or a granite, or a different color, it's a blending. It's very fresh. It's a bit earlier than normal, but I said we're looking for that, that mixture of ripe and, and unripe. So probably pick about four tonnes. From February through till about March, May. <laughs> yeah, very busy time. Very busy time. So the harvest is very important. It's the kind of pinnacle for everything that we've worked for for all year. So managing the vines, the making the leaf plucking, the shoot thinning, the pruning, everything. So fortunately it's a very cool day today, so it's perfect for hand picking. Oh. Um. You got any band-aids? So we're only getting about 50 cents an hour, we're so slow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get fired. Yeah, yeah, Ready? yeah, too slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you just tell Okay. And we're in the white. <laughs> and uh, it's probably it's a fundamental question. I mean, there are in a hundred different types of fruit. Yeah. Why grape? Why grapes? Um, so grape has a lot of um, natural acid. So the acid in the wine is um, very conducive to the yeast to ferment nicely. So firstly, the, the grapes produce a very clean fermentation um, without any off, off um, flavours, okay. and or less off flavours if you manage it well. And that also has the acidity so that the wine tastes nice. This is a really good spot to show you the soil of Yangara. It actually has both of the key elements of the soil here. So this is kind of the a very part of Yangara is, is this sand. Um, it's kind of got a lot of grey, a lot of um, microbes um, from the biodynamic preparations in the compost. But this is very good for growing grapes because it doesn't um, hold a lot of moisture, so the vines have to work much harder. We find that, that wines made on, in sand like this tend to make very floral, fragrant wines. Um, whereas where we're at Clarendon, more clay, we get more richer, powerful wines. 100% organic for all the wines that we make. Uh -huh. And um, we, um, yeah, we work very hard at, at managing all of that. How do you define uh, organic? Organic basically means no uh, herbicide, synthetic chemicals or fertilizers. They are always observing their wine and um, trying to showcase a sense of place in a wine. If 
first fermentation is the yeast basically eating the, the sugar in the grapes and they live on and they turn the sugar into alcohol with carbon dioxide as a, as a byproduct. So that's the primary fermentation. And that's the important one because that makes it wine. Why wine? We make it uh, at the beginning when it's still juice. The juice without skins for, to making white wine. The red wine, we are fermenting on the skins for maybe 25, 30 days on the skins. And then we take the, the wine off and then press the skin. So now we're starting to press. You can see the, the plate going down. Okay. And you see the juice running on the a, on a side of the, um, the basket press. The taste. Okay. Fresh. Yes. 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 We put on Lusan in white wine. Polo Pum Jong in there. Uh, Pangum Jiu Ab Chagur Hesunda. Oh, Tangilong Jiu. Wow, it's good. <laughs> it's yes. very sweet. Yes, yes. Wow, it's perfect juice. Yes. Uh, Yangjo Yong Pudo, no, we got Boto Mona Pudo, the Tango and Dupayo. So you, Paro Tianka, oh, the Yuka Vasin, you can talk much of it. to make sure it's uh, within the range we, we want. Now you have yeast in a wine mm -hmm. or in a juice, you have yeast, you have bacteria. If you want uh, the right yeast to do your fermentation, you, you need a, a, a proper pH at a certain level and the acidity will give some freshness also in the wine. Yeah, so always the acidity is important also for the balance. Taste, when you taste the wine, it makes it fresher. Make a fresh yeah. one. Wow. Um, all very cold. I feel it's less than 15 degrees. Oh, less than 15 so very degrees. Important that we keep the wine cold. Um, you know, it's maturation. Wine that is matured for 18 months. 18 months. Is kept in here. Okay. So what do you mean by the number 18? It was uh, the harvest. 18 was the harvest of the. A harvest vintage. So the barrel, it breathes, allows a small amount of oxygen in to allow the, the wine to mature. Mm -hmm. And it brings out the best flavors in the wine. But it, uh, we can't replicate that in a tank because the wine doesn't breathe. And so um, the barrel is uh, very important. But in varieties such as Shiraz, um, the flavour of the oak and the tannin, there's tannin in the oak as well, kind of gel with the flavours of the grapes very well mm -hmm. and make the wine taste even better. Oh, okay. So, but we, we never want the wine to taste of oak. So we have to use just enough that it supports the wine, not overpowers the wine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how many do you use uh, the one oak barrel? Um, usually you use the barrel for about five to seven years. Five to seven years. From about four years old, they become a lot more neutral, just in the maturation, and then one to three years, they have a little bit more of the oak flavor. Okay. And the larger barrel mm. have less oak flavor and are more, less oxygen into the wine. Okay. So they produce a different character too. Mm -hmm. Let's um, maybe taste. And 2018 was a very good vintage for Shiraz. Oh, this is a bit of spicy and a bit of spicy. It's a lot of layers. It's very special. Thank you. The Shiraz, I think, has a very versatile in the food that it pairs with because of the spice. Yes. 
And it's a good match with, uh, you know, Korean food. Totally, with the this, but Korean beef barbecue, those kind of the meat and the spicier, it, it has a much more versatile. It's part of the challenge that every year is different, but it's, um, it's also having the knowledge to be able to, to make the wine better without kind of having too much impact so you lose the characters um, of the place. So uh, I think that's what makes it interesting and, and challenging. I think my biggest advice is, is enjoy wine and enjoy the learning and the gen and but you don't have to know a lot. Um, you can know as much as you want. But most of all, have fun. <laughs>